So now in this video, we're going to look at the PNP, Bipolar Junction Transistor, wired as a switch. We have this circuit on the board there, and we have the one up there. On the NPN uh, diagram, I didn't have the circuit uh, drawn where it showed the off position. I just showed a uh, switch that could disconnect or uh, connect. Um, so in any case, we're going to actually, uh, I actually got the uh, drawing, I should say, on here. Uh, that is like the board. We have the jumper here to the uh, positive supply up here. That is why the LED is off. So this is not actually powering the LED when it turns on. As you can see there, we're just turning the transistor on, making it conduct better. So it's PNP. That means that the middle ground region, the base is N-type material. You make it more negative and it starts conducting into P-type material. And so we have uh, P type material right there, N, and then P over here again. So the N type material is sandwiched in between the P type material. But again, when we make that N type material uh, more negative, we connect it to ground, then that makes the whole transistor start uh, conducting. First off, a little bit of current comes from the positive supply um, through there. And uh, when you get a little bit of current flowing, that way, the transistor actually starts letting a multiple amount of current flow through. If you're using the 2N 3906, I'm guessing it's actually 300 times as much current will be allowed to flow through. Uh, but to make the math easy, we're going to say it's at least 100. So whatever current the load is going to need, it's good to just try to get about 1% of that um, through the emitter to base to get the transistor on fully as far as the load is concerned. The load will be what limits the current, not the transistor in that case. So we have five volts. We're gonna lose about 0.6 volts from base to emitter. A 10,000 ohm resistor is gonna give us about 0.44 milliamps of current. And uh, so if this will let 100 times through, again, it's probably gonna be a lot more than that, then we could get like 44 milliamps of current. But with the LED and the resistor, we have somewhere around 12 milliamps of current. I bet it's a higher amount uh, of 12, maybe slightly less than 13, but in case, um, it's somewhere around that range. Now, I was actually filming this um, right before I made this, and I you know, was like mumbling a little too much and stuff. I'm reshooting, but uh, in any case, I'm gonna put this in backwards, and it uh, doesn't matter that that pin there went to like the wrong spot. That's a roll, doesn't matter which one it goes into. There we go, uh, we got the LED. I should have noticed the LED doesn't look very bright, you know, but when you're explaining the circuit, you kind of don't pay attention to minor details. I did notice that uh, we don't have near enough current going through there. So, as I said before, it's a uh, N-type material between P-type materials, but the size of the material, it's thinner on the emitter side than the collector side right there. So if you put it in backwards, things may seem to be working and and whatnot, but if you actually look at like how much current's flowing and stuff, then you will notice that you're not getting what you should be getting if it is in the right direction. So I'm gonna put it in the right direction and I'm aiming through the camera right now. And so yeah, I don't know why that pin, well, I probably made it worse when I stuck it in the wrong one, but there we go. So emitter is at top. The 2N3906, if you saw my last video or any other video where I have the pin layout of a bi bipolar junction transistor, they're not the only ones that start with 2N, but generally if it says 2N, it's probably a bipolar junction transistor. Look at the rest of the number and you'll probably see that it is. This should be the pin layout. And uh, whether it's NPN or PNP and the uh, PNP, though the polarities are opposite. So now the emitter goes to the positive supply because it's PNP. When it's NPN, the emitter goes to the negative supply. And we're wiring it as a switch. There's no other components in there. We want a direct connection. If you want to limit current based on voltage, then you would have a resistor there. So that'd be a current source. Now at the top of this video, just realize with the switch, you want the emitter directly to a supply voltage, positive for PNP and negative for NPN. So yeah, we got the emitter, that means uh, if we swivel this, the emitter will be the top pin. So you can see we got the uh, transistor pointing to the left there, middle pin base and uh, bottom pin down there, collector. 
Doesn't matter whether the LED or the resistor comes first. When it comes to the board, I put whichever one, the resistor jumps a gap much better than an LED. So that's usually where I put it. Whereas I put the LED uh, right up to the transistor, usually. And we have the longer lead, the anode to the collector. Shorter lead, the cathode headed to ground. You gotta put it in the right way or it won't light up. It's a diode. Current only flows in one direction. Which again, we got uh, P material, N material, P material. So the N material has to be more negative. If we make it more positive, now um, it doesn't let current flow because uh, that's N type material, P type material. That would be more negative there, uh, more positive there. That's the direction it blocks uh, current. Plus you need a little bit of uh, current going through there to get the power supply to connect to it. Hopefully that makes sense. So yeah, we have uh, this setup. And again, for some reason I was wondering, um, there you can see with the transistor, it looks like what we had with the NPN. I'm given a false single signal, my finger's touching it. Hopefully you can see that. And that is uh, getting some current flowing, you know, positive through my body, making it more negative. It's actually alternating my body. There's uh, alternating current in the house and it is, uh, you know, magnetic fields are affecting my body where I can actually generate a little bit of electricity. Not much, uh, but a little bit. Now I got it in backwards and uh, I can turn the lamp up. But yeah, you can probably see the LED. It's like glowing a little bit. The more dark I, I get it. It went out of focus. That's why you couldn't see it. Oh, but yeah, there you can't even see it. So that was actually, that should have been my first indication that it was backwards um, when I was uh, shooting this before. So I thought I would uh, cover those topics since I uh, have experience with putting in it backwards. I just plucked this into place like I had the NPN, not uh, thinking about, I gotta turn it around because polarities are opposite. Current flows through it in the opposite uh, directions. So yeah, I think that is uh, really about it. I think I covered everything. I got a pictorial there. I made this diagram so I could like put it on my website and uh, then you know you could just see the circuit uh, right there but if you want to watch the video as well then you could do so so somewhere there's probably a page with this unless I deleted it for some reason at some point but uh, yeah that's about it again that's the emitter where the arrow is it points in for the PNP it points out for the NPN and uh, it uh, points towards ground so that's the current uh, direction usually we think of it as positive to negative even though electrons don't really work like that it's just a system they came up with a long time ago they realize there's a positive side and a negative side or you could have ground where it's even more negative or whatnot um, but they realized there was a flow there was a reason why um, things had to be towards positive and negative for uh, certain things to happen like for the LED to light up they didn't realize that in reality electrons are making their way to uh, from the more negative to the more positive um, but when you're looking at a circuit again you start at like the top that's where they put the positive supply and you follow your way down to the negative supply and it's just a way to tell that there's flow or not um, but in case not going to dwell on that too much hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos i'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video.